Well, Herbie's done a beautiful job in the head, and though the sink isn't in yet, that's one of the last things that needs to happen. And um, our composting head went in today, and I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about our head since it's a little unique uh, to some people. Probably the best thing about a composting toilet is how green it is. Um, none, nothing gets dumped into the ocean or the water. Poo that turns into dirt gets bagged and put in a dumpster and the uh, pee you can just dump into a toilet on shore. There are two separate tanks, one in the front and one in the back. The front one is for pee and the back one, when you use it, you just pull this little lever here and it opens up. And to better show you the two tanks, Herbie's just going to lift it up and show you. So, as we said before, poop and pee, two separate compartments. When Herbie first got this boat, it had electrosan, and he very soon got the uh, composting toilet. I know that a lot of channels have composting toilets. Sailing Uma does not anymore. They used to, and we're a little sad because they switched to direct discharge, which is kind of the worst for the ocean. Uh, so if you're thinking about changing your head anytime soon, we really recommend Nature's Head composting toilets. We feel better about the environment, and it's really easy to use, and it doesn't really smell bad because you just put in peat moss, and if the pea starts to smell bad, you just put in some white vinegar. It's pretty easy. So we've had the composting head for seven, seven years. Seven years, yep. It was hard for me to get used to at first. <laughs> yeah, the concept that you're not flushing is a bit kind of, of feels like a porta potty at first. You know, when you're not used to it, you're like, oh. I'm pooping in a hole. <laughs> and it stays and it's staying. There. <laughs> but um, then you get used to the fact that it actually turns into dirt, it doesn't smell bad, and if you clean it often enough, you don't get bugs. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you get bugs, like we, we change the peat moss in it every six months mm -hmm. for two people full time. So that's, that's pretty good. If you get bugs because you're in an area that's nice and warm and really moist and bugs. Putting diatomaceous earth mixed in with the peat moss kills them all. Yeah. And if you get a little outbreak of flies or gnats or whatever, add some diatomaceous earth and they are gone by the end of that day. Yeah, it works pretty well. There is the, the startup cost. Like I've seen some people, they do literally, well like Uma did, they had a bucket with sawdust. Yeah, it's cheap, but it's a bucket with sawdust. So then you, the theory for that is when you go, you then sprinkle some peat moss on it or sawdust or whatever you use, and it dries it out and it like entombs it and yeah. it doesn't, yeah, exactly. Now with the nature's head and airhead and like actual compost toilets, they're about a thousand dollars. So they are a bit of a startup cost, but if you go to price like a Jabsco head or something like that, it's, it's pretty comparable. And then that's it. You're, you're done. Uh, when you go, you crank it and then that keeps it broken up. And here's some things that you never, ever have to deal with. Holding tanks breaking, holding tanks smelling, holding tanks at all, having to pay for somebody to come pump you out in a marina, no pump outs. Joker valves getting clogged or broken or something that shouldn't have been flushed, being flushed, mm -hmm. and now you have to have the fun of a joker valve. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's pretty foolproof, like there's, there's just a hole. Yeah, we've heard some pretty... Uh, gruesome horror stories <laughs> about like regular marine heads yeah um and i know that like herbie's parents every time you go you have to like dump a cup of water into it to like flush it or whatever it each each person has their own little trick to deal with their their toilets or their yeah. heads but because the, the issue with my parents is they're in the chesapeake so if you flush with the water from outside coming in that water smells worse than poop. So so then the head gets really nasty really fast. So that's why they use tank water for that. But yeah, it, it's like then there's all these variables that go into play with a regular head that with a composting head, it's self-standing. There's no plumbing. Like when mm -hmm. I was rebuilding the head, I just took it out and moved it to a different part of the it boat. It was so easy. Yeah, Maddie <laughs> didn't like where I put it because I put it in the V-berth. 
it did mean so much less work when it came to redoing the head. I mean, no pipes, no plumbing, no disconnecting of anything. No like, poop. You literally just pick it up, put it somewhere else, and then when you're ready for it to go back in, put it back in, and you've got a fully functioning toilet again. Now, another big thing, the uh, when I bought the Nature's Head, it came with this big vent hose and all these contraptions and wires and all that mess. And then I talked to them. What happened was a person complained that there was a slight odor with it, and that's why they set up this mm -hmm. whole complicated system. So the, the, the manufacturer told me, he's like, try it first, just as a standalone, see if you like it. If you have any issues, you can then run the whole hose thing. They just did that to kind of appease the general populace. Now, that being said, it's not odorless. Um, yeah. And we've found a couple little tricks to get rid of the odors. One of them is to just leave it open mm -hmm. um, because then it airs out. If you leave it closed all the time and then you open it, the stench is overwhelming. <laughs> when you leave it open there's no problems. It doesn't smell or anything. And then another big thing, I know when I switched from the old Letrosan to the composting toilet, so I never actually had a holding tank in the boat, but the pipes themselves, the hoses, they had enough stuff flowing through them over a lifetime that they reeked. And when I took all that plumbing out, I had a friend come over and he was like, what'd you do? Like, you just your boat smells so much better right now. What's going on? And it was just the lack of stinky pipes. <laughs> so there, it's pretty good. Now it does, because we use peat moss, it smells a bit peaty. That's all right. After seven years, it did get a little bit worn down. I mean, think about the acid that is hitting that toilet every day for seven years. It got, the plastic got a little etched and mm -hmm. then it picked up stain. Yeah. Which I fixed that, like I cleaned it up with uh, 2,000 grit sandpaper. So it, all he did was sand it off. Mm -hmm. And um, now it looks like brand it, new again. It looks brand new. It feels brand new. It smells brand new. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not without maintenance. However, that maintenance was... So easy. Yeah, and seven years. Yeah. <laughs> when I got the toilet, it came with a gasket around the, the poop bin to the top of the toilet lid. That gasket's been gone for years. Haven't replaced it, haven't needed it. Like, it's so foolproof, and just the basic structure works so well that all the frivolous stuff that's added onto it, you don't need to do. And the best part is, again, it's it's great for the environment. Yep. You're not dumping, you're not adding your human nastiness to the ocean. Yeah, and when you get somewhere, you you have super fertilized dirt. <laughs> The most fertilized. So Uma's argument when they switched from their composting toilet to a direct discharge system, which is literally where the poop goes from the toilet straight overboard, was because they said that composting toilets were really hard. That they just, it didn't work and it was just hard was their reason. Uh, it's not really that hard. We literally, we keep our peat moss in these things. This is actually six months worth of dirt. And this is literally what we do twice a year. We take the peat moss and we put it in. And that is it for the next six months. So every time you go, you just turn the crank. That's all the work there is to a composting toilet. You add the dirt, you crank it. We don't add dirt for the rest of the six months. Like, this is it for the whole time period. And we find it to be exceedingly easy. And then it's very environment, environmentally friendly because when we finally do empty it, we empty it into a trash bag and put it in a dump and it goes to a landfill. So, like, all the waste from six months from two people is literally broken down into what takes up about half of that container. Uh, so it's... It's quite impressive how the composting process works. So. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.